Hello, this is Steve with Graphic Powers, and here I'm going to show you how quickly we can clean up this two-color JPEG bitmap, uh, turn it into a vector graphic using Graphic Tracer. Uh, we're going to begin by separating the colors. Uh, click Automatic here, and Graphic Tracer selects the colors. We have a black and a red. I'm going to process those colors, and we're going to create vectors. Now there's our trace. It's a, it's a pretty rough trace to begin with, so I'm going to show you some of the cleanup tools. We have a tool here for adjusting the shapes, and I'm going to use this auto cleanup where we have a slider. This will reduce the nodes. I'm going to slide that all the way over, and we're going to apply. And next I'm going to come in with the adjusting shapes tool. As we look at this graphic, you can see we have uh, green lines and we have red lines. Uh, red lines are designated by curves. You can see that's a curve. Green lines are straight lines. If I double click on a red line, it turns it into a straight line. If I double click on a green, on a green line, it turns it into a curve. So we're just going to quickly clean up these graphics by just double clicking. We can move our nodes around like so and just line that up just the way we want them. Okay, the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to select this object and I'm going to go to my mirror tool where I'm going to make a copy of this and mirror it horizontally very quick. Like so, I'm going to select the object I just mirrored and drag it over to the side. And we're going to use this object here to clean up this lightning bolt over here by using this replace object tool. Copy shape to an object. I've copied this shape. I bring my pointer over, hover over this and click on it and it copies that to shape I've selected to that and I've cleaned that up and I'll just come over here and click delete so we don't need that anymore. Uh, next thing we're going to do is we're going to clean up this type. With that I am going to just marquee around that top type there. We're going to go to our text tool and I'm going to use my identify font and replace tool. It selects the uh, the letters that we have selected of my trace. We have straight line text. I'm going to come over here to circular arc and I will adjust the baseline of that arc like so and I'm going to click next. Now graphic, graphic tracer using our OCR has detected that's an A, L, I, S, and O. I want to make sure that's an I and not a 1 so I'm going to just type in a capital I in that spot and I'm going to click next. Uh, graphic tracer just did a search and it identified that font as uh, Benguet Bold from the master fonts collection. Now notice it's, it came up with a prioritized list. We have uh, that font out of uh, master fonts, Corel Draw, uh, Deco SSI, that looks like the same font as well. Any of the green ones are from fonts databases that I own. So I'm gonna go ahead and choose that first one. I click replace and we have just cleaned up that top text. I'm gonna view that as a fill. You can see very quickly if I undo you can see that's what we had and graphic tracer has identified that font and replaced it automatically sized and spaced and put it right back where it belongs in my graphic very fast i'm going to select that lower text like so identify fonts and replace we're going to come back over here instead of straight line text we're going to choose circular arc which uh, re redraws the baseline on those letters. Now that is the same font as the first one we did so we don't have to do our search again. We're just going to come over here to our font I matches. Oh, I didn't connect the graphics. We have to click next first so that it identifies what these letters are. You can see E, L. Whoop, we're going to make sure that that says it's an E, C, T. That's not a K. That's an R. So I'll change that. R, I, C. Now I can come over here to my font matches and I will check at my, my font matches, and there's the font that we have. You can see it superimposes right on top of my graphic, make sure everything is correct. If I need to do any fine tuning, it's very easy to do, like so, I can move those around, and I check replace, and we have just replaced that lower text. Now the last thing we have on, the, on our font identification is to select the elements of the center part of the logo. I'm going to hold my control button down, select the center of that A, and we'll click on the E. We're going to come over here to font, and we have our object selected. I'm going to click next. And notice Graphic Tracer identified that as an A and an E that are put together. 
automatically. I'm going to come over here. I believe that's the same font. So I'm going to go to my font my matches. And there you can see how that matches up. You know, I can scroll down and you can see uh, various other fonts. Any of the fonts that are in green with a highlight, those are from font databases that you build and you can replace with any of your fonts. So I'm just going to choose that one here. I'm going to click replace and I have automatically replaced that center logo. The last thing we have is the circles that are rough. We have a replace objects tool. I'm going to come to convert to circle or ellipse. If I hold my control button down, I click on each of these concentric circles here and it cleans those up makes four point circles out of them makes them real nice at that point i am done with my my graphic it's ready to export as an eps ai dxf or plt if uh if you've got corel draw or illustrator one click will put it right into any corel draw or illustrator there's my logo all cleaned up you can see the wireframe there and it is perfect and uh, we did that actually if i weren't doing a demonstration i could probably clean that whole logo up in just a couple of minutes thank you for taking the time to watch this uh, graphic tracer video if you uh, would like more information visit our website at graphictracer.com thank you